Hello and welcome to Space Shark Teaches. I'm Sean from Space Shark Studios and I'm here to teach you visual scripting in Godot 3.1. Let's get started. In this lesson, we're going to teach you how to make your own functions and then show you how you can use them to make your hero move left and right. If you remember, right now we have it to where you can move to the right, but that's it. Pressing left will do nothing. So to start with this, we're going to go into scripts like we have before and then make sure that we are on our player. And now we are actually going to make two new functions by using the plus button right here. So we're going to make one and name it move left. And then our second named move right. And as you can see, they both start out empty. Now, if you remember over in physics process, we have where the gravity happens right here. And then let's actually move these over so you can see the groupings. So gravity happens in this first section. So we get the gravity and then we move and collide and that moves the player down. Then over here, so you can middle mouse button and click to drag around. Over in here, we check to see if the player is pressing right on the arrow keys. And if they are, we move and collide at the movement speed. So we're actually going to be using move right to do this from now on. So you can drag and select all, or you can control click on all of these to select them. Control X to cut, go into move right and control V to paste them. We can move these over and hook them up. So right now, this is disconnected. If you press play, we will fall and that is it because we don't have the keys hooked up anymore. To hook up move right, you click and drag into, oh, yep, into physics process. So you can see we're in physics process right now. And then hook it up. And you can see we have movement back again. And that's exactly what we wanted. Now to do move left, we can do the same thing. Let's go ahead and drag this in so that move left is hooked up automatically when we're done. And then we are going to select all of these, control C to copy, and then paste them with control V over and move left. Now the one thing that's going to change here is that we are not going to be using move speed. We are actually going to be using an available node, so a function called negate, which will take the negative of whatever it is that's coming in. So over here in the top right, over in the inspector, we're going to switch this to a vector two, and then the input is going to be the move speed, and it's going to go into move and collide. And then let's not forget, we need to change the action from UI right to UI left. So now move left, we check is the left uh, arrow pressed. And if so, we are going to move and collide in the opposite direction of move speed, which right now is pointing to the right. So now if we press left, we're moving left. And that's it. Now you can move left and right. The last thing that we should clean up is let's get gravity in on this. So underscore gravity, so that we keep the naming convention of an underscore for a function name. And then you can just select this, move it over as well with control X, control V. And then let's go ahead and add gravity onto the end because after movement, we need to make sure that the player falls correctly. Move all that over. And now we have move right, move left, and gravity. That's it. You can even see that if you press two at the same time, they cancel each other out and you can move in the air. And that's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we are going to move on to jumping. Thank you for watching Space Shark Teaches. 
If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel and remember to click the bell to always stay up to date. Please also join us on our Discord, linked in the comments, and check out our other videos if you ever want to see what else we've been up to. Thanks again for watching, and we can't wait to see what you make.